Montenegro on the sparkling Adriatic coast. In the 1980s, it was a magnet for the rich and famous. The country is hoping to build on that legacy. In recent years, a number of luxury hotels have been built along the coast. That's led to a huge demand for water. The country has already invested a lot of money in modern water infrastructure as tourism booms. But all the wastewater needs to be treated. Sewage treatment plants are still being built. A pump station is under construction a few meters behind the hotels of Hacek Novi. It's meant to divert the treated wastewater into the ocean. German engineer Joachim Zitlow is in charge of the site for the entire wastewater disposal system. The aim is to prevent untreated wastewater from being discharged directly into the ocean. The coastal towns are investing more than 150 million euros in the entire water supply and sewage treatment system, the biggest investment in 30 years. A large chunk was financed by Germany's international development bank, the KFW. Jelko Ujarovic manages the various water infrastructure plants with the KFW in Montenegro. He's worried about the timeline. This sea outfall pipe has to be laid a thousand meters out into the ocean before the tourists arrive. This is a discharge pipeline for the treatment plant through which treated sewage is pumped into the ocean at a depth of 35 meters. Divers are to fasten the pipes onto the ocean floor so they aren't washed away by the current. The clock is ticking. In a few days, the beaches here will be full of tourists. Tourism is Montenegro's biggest source of revenue. But more tourists also means higher power consumption. The electricity comes from Montenegro's hinterland, one of Europe's most water-rich regions. Clean hydropower meets almost 70% of the country's power requirements, but demand is increasing. The country's largest hydropower plant is located at the Piva Reservoir. The dam walls are 200 meters high. For decades, it's been supplying a large amount of Montenegro's electricity. But the facility is now outdated and is being retrofitted with the help of KFW loans. It's important for the future to extend the lifespan of the plant by 30 years. The power plant is 37 years old. Even with the best maintenance, its service life is at an end. Some of its components are finished. So basically the safety of the plant is our top priority. In second place, extending its service life, and the most important thing, is the environmental compatibility, generating green power. Green power mitigates huge carbon emissions caused by firing coal or oil. After retrofitting, the power plant is expected to produce even more clean electricity. For that, the first of three water turbines is shut down. It's a tricky procedure because of the huge water pressure. But important components urgently need replacing so the plant can continue to generate power reliably for the decades ahead. In the control room, the technicians are nervous hoping everything will work out smoothly. The first turbine is now in place and ready for retrofitting. In the months ahead, the other two will go through the same procedure. The control system will be completely replaced. Then a fully retrofitted power plant will hopefully operate without blackouts. But not everyone is happy with the power plant, even though it's meant to generate clean electricity. That's because back in the 1970s, building the reservoir involved flooding the historic town of Pluzhene. Mirko Vukovic remembers how he lost everything. He and his family and the entire village were relocated. He says all they got was symbolic compensation. Yes, sir. I grew up on the right shore of the Piva. This lake was flooded 38 years ago. 
Before that, the Piva was a wonderful mountain river. I was born here. Our house was over there. The old settlements were there. Now the town of Plužina is up there. Everything back there is underwater, over 70 meters deep. Back on the other side of the mountains, on the coast. The Bay of Kortor is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The historic center of town is full of tourists. The 1,200-year-old cathedral is the main attraction. In summer, there are three times more tourists than residents. The tourists are good for Montenegro, but not for its environment. With German help, Montenegro is now preparing for the future, not just by investing in harbors and luxury hotels, but also in effective water and power infrastructure. <laughs> 